picture this. You've just finished aligning a customer's vehicle. Everything looks perfect on paper, but a month later, they're back in your shop with tire scuffing complaints. Sound familiar? Well, you're not alone. And the answer isn't always as straightforward as you might think. In this video, let's discuss toe angle and ride height and how each one can affect tire wear and alignment. In theory, the rear axle's thrust angle should align perfectly with the vehicle's geometric center line. However, in reality, it often doesn't thanks to factors like manufacturing tolerances or minor collisions. That's why toe angle should be measured from the rear axle's thrust angle instead of the geometric center. Zero toe angle means the tires are parallel to the thrust line. Positive toe occurs when the front of the tires angle inward toward the thrust line, while negative toe is when they angle outward and away. Total toe is the combined angle of the left and right tires. On older vehicles, toe is usually measured in fractions of an inch, while on newer models, it's measured in degrees. What about ride height? To see how changes in ride height affect alignment, try raising the front end in one inch increments on your alignment machine. You'll notice pretty substantial changes in both toe and camber angles, which can reveal how strut suspensions behave when ride height changes. Always check with your customer about their typical load, especially if they use a trailer hitch. Uneven loads might require a customized alignment to minimize wear. When checking on tire wear, don't forget that modern tires have more flexible sidewalls and rigid tread belts, making them more forgiving of deviations in ideal camber and toe angles. When assessing tire wear, checking tread depth across the tire can reveal subtle issues. Even a slight variation in tread depth could indicate the need for a slight change in toe angle. When it comes to basic alignment, always start by ensuring proper air pressure. Then check for uneven tread wear, tread pattern, and circumference. For anti-lock braking, ABS, vehicle stability control, VSC, and all-wheel drive, AWD systems, the tire should be no more than a quarter inch different in circumference. Next, inspect the suspension, including ball joints, tie rods, and shock absorbers. Checking arm wear can be as easy as lifting the front wheel and manually testing for excessive movement. Installing suspension components that are designed to support additional loads can address alignment problems coming from varying ride heights. Adjusting the toe angle to the high or low end of the specification can also minimize wear. Careful though, too much negative toe angle will aggravate steering wonder and too much positive toe will reduce steering response. The idea is to find the sweet spot for real world driving conditions. By understanding how these factors affect alignment and tire wear, you can provide a more customized service that gets your customer out of the shop and back on the road. For more tire and service videos, don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Christian Hinton, Coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.